Looking at the starting five for the Dallas Mavericks. They've got Reggie Bullock, Kyrie Irving out there with Luka Doncic. Then there's Dwight Powell, and it's Hardaway in a small forward. And for the Clippers, the two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court, and it's Jackson in at the point. Now here's Jackson, pass to George. Morris outside. And a miss there on the triple. Here are the Mavericks now with the ball. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Second shot opportunity. Bullock. Good. Setting an aggressive tone early. Challenging the heart of that defense. Leonard outside. Zubats with a screen on Hardaway. Leonard passes to Zubats. George for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. They defeated Utah in their last game. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Yeah, and in that game, it turned into a massive scoring night. It wasn't so much about the, the game plan as it was establishing early confidence to get that win. one falls for him. Well, still a few years out, but the Clippers have to be excited about moving into their own arena in 2024. So much innovation has gone into the design of the building, and it just looks incredible. So he hits one of two from the strike. Amen. And the Clippers felt they needed to build their own arena to establish some identity. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. That they could be their own franchise away from the shared building with the Lakers. And for so long in L.A., they've been treated as sort of the second-rate team. And that just shouldn't happen. So having their own arena, that's moving them well into the right direction. Here's Doncic following the score by the Clippers. Left side, Irving. Shoots over George. And that one hits the back iron. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Jackson, pass to George. And here's Zubats. Leonard outside. Zubats with a screen on Hardaway. Pocket four. George, a deep three. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Left side Irving. The three is up. Gets the three to fall. The touch that Kyrie has from the perimeter. So lethal from that area on the floor. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Once he saw the smaller defender guarding him, he took it right to the rack. And the standout skill of Paul George is the fact that on both ends of the court, he's going to affect the outcome of the game. At the line for your court, Paul George at the line for one. What's up? And George is the kind of versatile player that every team is looking for, Brent. That B.A., with all of that experience, is able to switch on so many different guys. And he understands what it is they're trying to do. And then on the offensive end, he just scores in a myriad of ways. He's hitting threes, he's driving, he's dunking, he's making plays. P.G., the complete package. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Here's Leonard. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. 
Leonard's got the second bucket on the night. Quick rise and quick fire from the mid-range. This is automatic stuff from Kawhi Leonard. Nice move. And Doncic with the jam. And defensively, you have to make them work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. It's George on the wing. He's guarded by Irving. George, no good. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Pass to Doncic. There's a screen. Another three for Dallas. Defense was all over Doncic, so he smartly uses a pick to get free to shoot. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. Last time they met was in Dallas. On the wing man. Powell outside. Batum with a screen on green. The drive by Powell unloads from 13. The Mavericks pull it in. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession. If they can get it, he doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Now here's Doncic. Give him eight points now. Green against Powell. Six on the shot clock. Here's Nilakina. That three's off the mark. The Clippers trail. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. Here's Kennard taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. 125 left to play in the first. Green, the pass to Doncic. Here's the floater, and he takes it up and lays it in. Doncic has got 10 points, and you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. They're so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Now here's Bertans. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Nilakina from behind the arc. Batum pulls it in. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Mann. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Nets in Brooklyn. A pest down low. Those three blocks really affected guys attacking the hoop. Doncic outside. There's the triple. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And so it's Dallas ending the quarter up 10. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? What's simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will. And they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. And for the Clippers, they're shooting a rough 25% for the field in this game. The two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. Morris and Zubots play together in the front court. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Back to Morris. George for three. And that comes off the assist by Morris. George has got six. Well, Grant, every team is looking for that perfect five on the floor, that magical lineup. In your mind, is that synonymous with small ball? I think it is, B.A. I mean, having players that can play small, can switch on defense, obviously play multiple positions on the offensive end, it's just a combination when executed properly could be a nightmare for the opponent. 
George, a screen on Hardaway. Pass to Jackson. Let's the three fly. And the Clippers hit again from deep. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. The baseline, Jay. Again, the Mavericks. Good for two more. Irving feeling confident, just rising up and knocking down the mid-range Jay. Jackson against Irving. Leonard with a screen on Irving. Morris for three. The Clippers rebound. Out to Leonard. Pass to Jackson. Zubats screen. Takes a three. Jackson can't get it to go. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Outside Hardaway. Outside Irving. Fires for three. It's rebounded by George. The Clippers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Greg. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals, but... Without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. Irving, the pass to Powell. Irving against Jackson. That one's good from Powell. On the assist from Irving. And the Mavericks lead by nine. And those assist numbers have always been there for Kyrie, spotting an open teammate that time. Here's George. Add that to his line. Now three for six. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And a coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now Green. 29 points for him. Last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Yeah, but there's always this point. You got to look at where did he also impact the game. It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Pass to Irving. Launches a three. Buries it from three. And now it's a 12-point Dallas lead. They're shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc, and their confidence is growing. Jackson outside. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Jackson against Irving. Shoots over Jackson. Ooh, it's Kyrie Irving with a sensational play. Irving's got ten points in the quarter. We've got a minute 48 left in the first half of this one. Jackson, pass to George. Zubats with a screen on Green. To the middle, to end the run. And it's slammed in by Zubats. You look at the career of Paul George, and it's those passing numbers that have greatly improved, and he's an effective playmaker. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing. We've got 128 left in the second period. Bertans finds Doncic. Here's Nilakina. Drives to the hoop. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. And the Mavericks lead by 14. I'll tell you what. Their execution just continues to impress. It's stolen by Bertans. Doncic against Leonard. Foul. And the Clippers making a change here. Covington's checked in. First team. Now into the lineup for your Clippers. Robert Covington. Doncic outside. Let's it go from the wing. Covington grabs the board. Los Angeles has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Mann, guarded by Doncic. First personal foul. First team foul.
44 seconds left in the first half. For three, Covington. Mavericks with the rebound. McGee's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bertans with the ball. Picked up by Powell. Powell against Bertans. Pass to Bullock. Six to shoot. From deep, here's Doncic. Counted from distance. Doncic has got 13. And that's something that Doncic wants to keep improving. Good to see him firing away from distance. Powell with it. Driving to the basket. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on JaVale McGee. At the line for L.A., Norman Powell. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, can't sleep on Powell defensively. He will step up and start to pour it in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks up 15 points as this quarter. On the court right now for Dallas. Kyrie Irving out there with Luka Doncic. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then it's Tim Hardaway. And it's Bullock in at the four-man position. Pulls it from the top of the key. No good there. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Doncic against Jackson. Outside Irving. Pass to Bullock from the arc. They get the rebound. Doncic outside. Powell sets a screen. Second chance shot. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Doncic has got 15 points. We've seen why Doncic is a perennial MVP candidate. He's taken over completely at the offensive end. Here's George. Shot from the low post is good. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Paul George. Kyrie does a great job of using the shot fake. Really sells it that time and then goes straight at contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. down the first one and you know you felt this coming ever since summer when the idea of Kyrie Irving out of Brooklyn now we all know the two sides just couldn't see a long-term future together so the Nets were able to send Irving away and get something before he left in free agency and that one goes in two from the line that time you know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, Grant. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him. But they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. Jackson outside. George against Irving. He got a piece of it. They get it back. Dwight Powell. First personal foul. First team foul. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous.
And the free throw drops from Zubac. The last couple of seasons, the Clippers have shot the lights out from deep break. Oh, man, they've been unbelievable. Over 41% back in that 21 season. That led the NBA. So they got a nice collection of shooters on this Clippers team. And it helps that you have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard play to create great shooting opportunities. So lots of guys that can hurt you from deep. And Zubac drops them both. 90 seconds into the second half now. Irving against George. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Ooh, he's now 7 for 12. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Jackson, pass to George. Over Irving. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. Love to see PG getting into that zone. Committed to find the points. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives them a chance to do just that, Allie. Thank you. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. Now Hardaway Jr. up over top right there, rising up. George outside. On oh, target from range. George has got 15 points. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. When you watch Luca play, you can't forget he's 6'7". He can more than hold his own inside. George against Irving. George with the bucket. George has got nine points in the quarter. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Doncic outside. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard, one of three perimeter players to win back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year awards. It's him, Sidney Moncrief, and a young Dennis Robin. Here's George. The Mavericks pull it in. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Doncic. On the wing, Irving. Uncovered. He hits the back iron and sinks it. 17 points in the game. And for his career, Kawhi Leonard has more steals than fouls, Greg. You know, B.A., he and Jimmy Butler, I believe, the only two players to achieve that. Batum, pass to Powell. And he lays it up and in. Powell can play with some power. Even at 6'3", 6'4", he's got a good base. Here's Nelikina. Pass to Irving. And he banks in the layup. Irving's got 19 points. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Wow, oh, it's good. Well, Norman Powell has a lot of strength, and that time he played to it. The Mavericks have gone six for nine in the half. Pass to Bertans. Here's Irving. And it's Dallas scoring again. Los Angeles has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Covington, a screen on green. It's Covington on the wing. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Beautiful stroke off the catch and shoot from Robert Covington that time. Pass to Bertans. Here's Nelikina. Back to Irving. There's the three. 
Batum pulls it in. Now he was terrific shooting the ball in the first half, but he looks a little bit slower out there. Possibly leg tired here in the second half. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Covington, a screen on Irving. Nice shot by Kennard. And as long as Kennard keeps knocking down those threes, he's going to get more opportunity. Irving up top. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. Irving's got 10 points in just the second half. Kyrie Irving has been on display for the Dallas Mavericks. Stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. At small and power forward, it's George and Leonard. Terrence Mann is out there with Luke Kennard. And it's Batum in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Pass to Mann. George, a screen on Doncic. Kicks it to George. Let's it go from deep. Drops in the three. George has got 20. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Irving against Kennard. Doncic outside. With some arc. And he sinks the layup. 21 points in the game. This is Doncic's pure shooting ability in action. Making it look easy with that nice floater. George against Hardaway. George, no good. Dallas has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Hardaway, the pass to Doncic. Left side Irving. Shoots over George. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. The Clippers shooting at 45% of the game so far. Pass to George. Batum with a screen on Hardaway. Clock at six. To the wing on the left. Batum. Misses the three. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Doncic with it, and Kennard picks him up defensively, and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Bertans, the pass to Hardaway. Now Irving. Down to five on the shot clock. The three. He's got another one. That's ten for fifteen now. And watch how this kind of scoring output for Kyrie Irving impacts the rest of his teammates. Everyone else starts to feel hot. Here's Mann. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Mann's got his first points of the night. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Oh, sweet move. And Doncic with the lay-in. And the Mavericks lead by 14. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Morris outside. Shot clock at six. Back to George. Wide open look. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. George has got five points now this quarter. Dallas has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Doncic passes to Irving. Shoots over George. And Irving, the bucket on the assist by Doncic. And it takes a bit of pressure off Kyrie when someone else creates for him. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. George drives in, kicks it out to Jackson. Hits the trifecta. Kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession, and the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Pass to Doncic. Zubac with the steal. 
George passes to Morris. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. Uh, I love how active Paul George is right now. He's sharing the ball. He's involving his teammates and stepping into this nice, comfortable leadership role here tonight. Here's Doncic. He takes it inside, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Doncic has got 25 points. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Two box screen. They grab their own miss. And it's slammed in by Zubox. Oh, 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 my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. George against Irving. Doncic on the wing. Floater, and he lays it in. He's got 27. Such a graceful move. Showing off the floater game. George outside. Takes a 13-footer. It's rebounded by Dallas. 17 points was their biggest margin. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Mavericks. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And you look at their record after tonight, 30 wins on the year. And this is how they wanted to finish off this season series, with a win and evening it up at two games apiece. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Luka Doncic. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. And it's a completely new group for the Clippers. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. McGee, he's checked in for Powell. Bertans comes in for Bullock. Green's checked in for Hardaway. And it's Nilakina in for Irving. And he got a good look at the hands of Covington. And Dallas with possession. Nine-point game. Back to Doncic. Driving in. Drops in the layup for two. And they came in here with some attitude, and it brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Covington, a screen on green. It's good. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Nelikina. And so the Mavericks take the win. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? It's very important. Um, we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively. It makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive, and I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. So long, everyone.